In the last 12 months, we've sent over 2 million Loom style personal video outreaches for over a dozen companies and booked over four and a half thousand calls. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to make the perfect personalized Loom video from the scripts, to the tone, to the goal, to the call to action, to everything in between. Let's get into it. So just for some context, this week, we've sent around um, 100,000, 105,000 emails and roughly half of them are these personal Loom outreaches. So we've sent around 50,000 Looms this week. I wanna start by talking about why we're gonna be sending a video because it helps to inform what you're gonna say in the video. Like why, why are we sending this video? So when you're trying to make a sale, you're essentially trying to get them to the point where they feel like giving you money is a good investment, holistically. So in order for them to think that giving you money is a good investment, they have to trust you and trust your product, okay? When you're doing cold outbound, and intrinsically, they don't trust you or your product, okay? So you have to do something to get them there. I like to use the golf analogy, and essentially what I'm saying is, if you played a round of golf, and you're at a hole, you're on the tee box, there's some fairway, and a green, and then a hole on the green. The goal is to get the ball into the hole, okay? When you're dealing with warm leads, so let's say inbound referral leads, people that have watched YouTube content and then, you know, watched six hours of your content and then booked in a call and had a chat with you, they're already on the green because work has been done in the background that maybe you didn't see or weren't involved in. Your auntie said that you're amazing. She's hit the ball off a tee down the fairway. They then watch some testimonials on your website. They then move the ball, you know, close to the hole. By the time you talk to them, you're just, you know, pushing them into the hole to make a sale. When you're doing cold outbound, we're essentially, the cold outbound is us hitting it off the tee. And then most of them are going to end up in the bushes. And some of them will end up on the fairway where they raise their hand a little bit and say, yeah, I'm somewhat interested to learn more. The goal then isn't to get the putter out and try and close the deal. The goal is to move the ball further to the hole. And it is far easier to do that when they can see you and hear you and feel your tone and you can start to build this trust. And that is why we are so heavily indexed on sending out videos as opposed to doing stuff just through text. Okay, so in order for someone to buy, they must trust you. A video is a great way to explain complex ideas, build trust, and convey that you have an opportunity. You are trying to convince them that you have an opportunity for them. If you spend your money with me, I will make you more money. I'll save you time so you can make you more money. I'll save you money. Right. That's essentially what you're doing. I have an opportunity for you. And it's so much easier to convince someone when you can pull up a camera and use your tone to convey that you genuinely believe that you have an opportunity for them. Okay? So, the goal of the video. The goal of the video is not to sell. The goal of the video is not to sell. The goal of the video is not to sell. The goal of the video is not to sell. You're not trying to sell them your stuff in the video. You're trying to build trust and rapport. You're not trying to sell them your stuff. You're trying to build trust and rapport. The goal of the video is to build connection. You're using video as a way to overcome the cold nature of cold outreach. Why? Because once they watch the video, if you then have a call with them, you want them to feel like they somewhat know you. It's a somewhat warmer conversation. Okay? You're not trying to persuade. You're trying to show that you have something genuinely that you genuinely believe will be useful for them, which is trying to persuade. But what you're trying to do is convey the sense of opportunity to them. Okay? Do you think there's an opportunity for you to both make money by working together? This is what you have to convey. There's an opportunity for us here. Do you think you have a free tool that they should test out because it's an opportunity for them? Do you want them to watch the video and think, damn, this person seems pretty genuine and it could be worth checking out? That is what the goal of the video is. For them to be like, hmm, you know what, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. And this guy seems legit. That's what you want, okay? So video structures. There's typically two ways to do this. There's two ways to build your Loom outreach. There's a curiosity structure. And this is typically what we do when we're making them at scale, meaning that there's two types of structures. One of them's very hard to do at scale, but probably slightly better. One of them is easier to do at scale. It's probably not as compelling, but if you can do double the amount, then you can make up for the loss of 
effectiveness through scale. So here I see structure, easy to make a scale, leaning into having something of value that you'd love to share, but don't dive deep into it on the video. So, hey, first name, soft friendly intro, we're not trying to sell. Uh, you're not going to say, hi there, my name is Hwani and I am the founder and CEO of blah, blah, blah. That doesn't work. But if you say, hey there, how are you? It feels a lot more genuine, okay? I know you get bombarded with emails, so I wanted to make a quick video. I grabbed your email off Google Sales Navigator. I hope you don't mind me reaching out. Go into opportunity. So when you're reading this, you want it to feel genuine, and you do that. I quite like using like a low, soft monotone, like, hey, hey there, I know you, uh, you get bombarded with emails, but I found your email address on Sales Navigator um, off, off LinkedIn, and I have something that I think is an opportunity for you. So I did want to reach out. So you, curiosity driven, low tone, calm. I think that, that tends to perform the best. Then you go into the opportunity. Essentially, we have a buyer looking for a plumbing company in Arizona. So I wanted to reach out. Or essentially, we're working with a plumbing company similar to yours but they're in New York and I want to share what we're doing with them because I think the same approach is going to work for you in Arizona. Talk through and explain why you think it's an opportunity, okay? Then you have a call to action and typically you'd say, you know, I'd love to jump on a phone call if you are open to it. I've got some time on Wednesday at 4 p.m. or Friday at 10 a.m. Let me know if any of those work for you. You'd want the length to be around 90 seconds. And the background, you just do it on their website. And one of the main reasons why you do it on their website is because when you embed the thumbnail GIF, either you know sending it to them on LinkedIn or you're emailing it to them, we're emailing it to them, it shows up as essentially a thumbnail of you on their website. And that drives more curiosity because they're like, why is this person on my website? Okay, so this is a simple curiosity-driven um, script. Then we have a different structure. This is the show value structure. Hey, first name, similar introduction. Go into opportunity. Essentially, we have a buyer looking for a plumbing business in Arizona. So I wanted to reach out. Essentially, we're working with similar plumbing companies in New York, da, 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 whatever the opportunity is. And then you do a live demonstration. So this is going to be a far more compelling thing to do. And you can pull up whatever it is that you're looking for. Like we have a buyer, this is the buyer, this is what they're looking for, or you've got a similar plumbing business in New York, these are the plumbing businesses, this is what we're doing for them. The live demonstration is going to help massively, but it's hard to do at scale. Um, and you want to, by doing this, you show that the opportunity is real, okay? And then similar call to action. So something that you can do if you feel it's appropriate, and we recommend it, um, but again, I'm not telling you exactly what to do, but you can say like, I would love to jump on a call and walk through this with you if you're open to it. I've got some time at 4 p.m. on Wednesday or 10 a.m. on Friday. Um, if I don't hear from you, um, I'm just gonna book in that Wednesday 4 p.m. slot just so that we've got something on the calendar, but just let me know if you're like not interested in having a chat, like no problem. Um, but if I don't hear from you, I'll give you a quick call at uh, 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Cheers. Okay, so you can just put that in there and then they'll either say, look, I'm not interested in a chat and that's fine and you can cancel it or it gives you an excuse to call them. And these are typically a bit longer because you're going through this live demonstration, three to six minutes, live results. Um, lots of people do them like on like a lucid, let's say, right? like explaining it. And typically they will have, you know, screenshotted the things that they want to show or whatever and put it in here already. And then you can, you know, Let's just say, so what have I got in here? Just random stuff. You can walk through and explain, you know, what's going on in some sort of presentation like this, which can make it more compelling. The main thing is you want to be like live results. Like, here's some live results. We're getting results. You can see that if any of these have green, that means that they're asking for a call. So here are leads that we're generating, and lots of them are asking for calls. Great. We're, we're good at what we do. That's the type of life results that you ideally want to be able to walk them through. Okay, so below this video, I've actually put a link to a template where you can download it. And I've put in two prompts 
for each of these so that you can do them yourself just by putting in sort of who you're going after and your opportunity. Okay. I also just wanted to show you that I have recently purchased multiple things from people doing this outreach to me. I'm probably the perfect person to do outreach to because I'm going to watch every video that people send because I'm like interested in it. But I thought it'd just be worth showing you what they look like. So this is the first one. He essentially sent me some stuff and then made me a Loom video. This is what the Loom video looks like. And how long is it? It is four minutes long. He's on my YouTube channel because he's selling me something to do with YouTube. He sent me an email and then you can see he walks through, you know, his Miro board, essentially what I say on Lucid board. He's showing me exactly what he's doing and he's helping to build trust and rapport by walking through this. The other person that sent me one recently that I've bought off is the person who's going to be editing this video. So put it on screen now. Hey there, Hawani. I hope you're on. I hope I said your name right. My name is Raphael. I'm accident email. Just as a quick room to go over certain aspects that's affecting your amount of bots called you again on your website. Um, and it's all directly actually from your YouTube channel. So the next minute or two, I'm just going to quickly over, or run over some of these um things that can be improved in accident. That's going to give you instantly better results. And I've actually created a quick my reward that goes over some of these things. The first thing that I want to quickly go over is your description, your title, and your kind of um, SEO right keyword research plus SEO foundation is incredible. This was another really good cold outreach using essentially the the second one of these, the show value structure, where they're walking through a board and they're showing um, what it is that they can help with and some case studies, examples, results, this sort of thing. So I want to talk a little bit about video tone. Tone is the most important part. Like this is cool, but most of the buying that people do, or at least curiosity stepping further into the sales sequence, is done from an emotional place, not a logical place. And you tap into the emotional trust building through the tone of how you are presenting the material. Tone is the most important part. You want it to feel genuine. You want it to feel natural. You're, you're trying to build a relationship like one-on-one -on -one with the person. This takes practice, right? Like I feel relatively comfortable talking to a camera because I'm doing it relatively frequently. I did not feel comfortable when I first started doing it, and even making Loom videos initially, I did not feel comfortable. So it does take a lot of practice, but the goal with the practice is to just feel more and more like you have something that's genuinely useful for them, and you're just trying to convey that to one person. Like You're just talking to one person that you believe you have something that's genuinely useful to them. I like having a mic because I feel like it allows me to control my voice way better and so if i'm talking about something important i can whisper into a microphone and i even do this on my onboarding calls or sales calls or you can be louder and stand back but if you're da -da -da -da. so i quite like having a mic does not mean you can use that as an excuse to not go and do anything because you don't have a mic i'm just saying you get used to controlling your voice and being able to have a good tone when you make these so that it feels genuine okay and that is really what we're trying to convey. I would say most people that we work with, when they first try and make a video, it's like they're shooting a sales ad. <laughs> Hi, my name is Hwani, and I'm the president of... It's like, no, that's not how you build a genuine connection with someone, okay? Build a genuine connection. I will just say something, which is... Some people might think that's kind of unprofessional, but... You know when you're sending like voice notes to people and it's so real like you're just chatting to them? That's kind of how you want this to feel. You've still got a structure, you're going through a script, but you want it to feel like that genuine connection, okay? Some extra pointers to get the video watched. Connect with them on LinkedIn. If they accept, send it to them. The Loom share button. Um, I don't, is it on this account? If I click share. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's not. On some accounts, um, maybe this is just library. Can I see if I can share a video? So there is sometimes an ability to just click share, and you can just share it straight with the email account. Not 100% on that right now, but when it's available, use it um, and follow up. Um, if they don't reply, follow up. Our Loom view rate is around 60% from people that ask for one. So 40% of people don't watch the video. 
Okay, 60% do watch the video. And of that 60%, we're hitting the ball closer to the hole. We're building rapport. Okay, of those people that watch the video, around 10 to 20% end up booking a call. And we've just found that the quality of those calls is much better because you've already built rapport with them. If you want a personalized video system set up and running for your business so you can see results like I showed earlier for you, there should be a link below this video that you can book in a call with myself or somebody in my team. If you've found this video useful and you want to learn the full cold email system that we're using to send out these videos, there should be a 90 minute video on screen now. I'll see you there. Peace.